One of Western Australia's great early champions was Easingwold. He raced in the time of Eurythmic, the Roaring Twenties. And while Eurythmic was the mightiest galloper of the times, Easingwold was not far behind. Easingwold raced initially for West Australian Tom Lockton. Sent to Melbourne in quest of bigger purses, Easingwold was unplaced in four starts and was then on sold to South Fremantle-based owner-trainer Bill Marks. It was he who put Easingwold on the road to fame. In the 1921 Ascot Summer Carnival, the now three-year-old firstly won the six furlong Grove handicap, followed by the nine furlong December stakes. Then, on Boxing Day, he brilliantly annexed the WA Derby over 12 furlongs before winning the all-age stakes over seven furlongs just two days later. In the autumn of his three-year-old season, he produced a five-length win second up in the Osborne Stakes over 11 furlongs, leading into a seven-length victory in the St Ledger at his next start, where he set a state record for 14 furlongs that stood for half a century. After a spell, he reappeared in the spring and won his initial outing as a four-year-old by three lengths in the spring stakes at Kalgoorlie, which was succeeded by an easy win in the Kalgoorlie Cup under nine stone six pounds or 60 kilos. Once more, it was considered appropriate to take Easingwold East for the big plums. However, this time he was sent to top Victorian trainer, Jack Holt, who was also the mentor of the legendary Eurythmic. At his third run for Holt in the spring of 1922, Easingwold ran second in the newly incepted W.S. Cox Plate behind violin cello before coming back in the autumn to down his illustrious stablemate Eurythmic in the St George. At five, Easingwold resumed with five straight placings in the Melbourne Spring before winning the Herbert Power Stakes and running second in the Caulfield Cup. A week later, Easingwold etched his name in history by becoming the first West Australian thoroughbred to win the W.S. Cox Plate. Although not quite the force he once was, at six, Easingwold took out his second Herbert Power Stakes at Caulfield and was returned to Perth that season to win the Perth Stakes on Boxing Day and then his second Osborne Stakes. His record standing at 22 wins and 26 placings from 73 starts for some £15,000 in earnings. Easingwold stood for 45 guineas and with moderate success at stud.